So I, I'd really like you to talk a little bit about what you understood about the sort of deep idea of protecting the honor. Yeah. Uh, Look, I mean, I, I say this a lot because I think people forget that, you know, you can love somebody, but you can hurt them. You can love somebody, but you can still refuse to do what's best for them. You can love somebody, but you can still prioritize your survival over there. So it's not an issue of whether girls or daughters or wives uh, or children in general are less loved in our culture than they are in other cultures. They are loved just as much. They are just not a priority. You know, uh, ultimately we, many of us have, uh, either we have, uh, we are in situations where we have too little and when you have too little, then you begin to have an obsessive focus on what you, an, an understandably obsessive focus on what you do possess. And one of the things that you do possess is, is honor, it is dignity, it is your word, it is those sort of things, they take priority over everything else. And you see the same thing at the other end of the spectrum. When you have a lot to lose, then again, you know, you are very, very careful and, and tend to prioritize certain things over perhaps what is, what is even humane. And I think that that's the issue that we are facing. It is that, that you know, these victims are simply low priority. There's love, but there's low priority. Some other things are, are high priority. And because we are sort of enmeshed in this hierarchical system uh, of caste, of class, uh, and, and it doesn't benefit people who are in power to try and dismantle any aspect of the system, the system just continues to go on. And you know, the victims tend to be girls and women. And uh, again, because of their low priority, 